Hey, welcome back to Pete Plays. Here we're playing Enter the Gungeon, and we're on level two. Floor two? We're on level two. We're this cool guy, uh, the Marine, and uh, we're going to uh, just kind of do our thing. Right, here we go. Something touch me? Oh no. Oh. Ah! Oh, I see what I did. I think I accidentally used my blanks. Oh, because I'm pressing too hard on the um on the sticks. I'm gonna change that button. Um I don't like I don't like that. I did move the um the camera. Um, so now my camera won't be... Oh, dear! Ah, rats. Woo! Now my camera won't be... It's a ghost of some sort. My camera won't be covering up my, um... All my stats. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa! There's another one. Um... Hey, today's a cool day. So this is coming out on a Tuesday, but um, I'm filming this on a Monday, and the Monday is one of my favorite days of the year, um, Jackie Robinson Day. Um, oh man. Oh dear. Boy, that guy is not a joke. Ah! Ah! Got hit again. Okay, man. Took three hits in there, and they're still going. You lose out of. Okay. A lot of rooms in here. Yeah, Jackie Robinson Day is uh, just a really cool. Oh my! Just a really cool day in Major League Baseball where um, they honor. What's that? Oh, I'm full. They honor um, Jackie Robinson, who was, if you don't know, not everybody follows baseball, so. Um, but also, I think this is just a, a cool, important part of American history. Oh, okay. That's a ledge. I shouldn't fall off the ledge, I see. Um, ooh. Oh, I thought... Cool. What is this? Proximity mine. I don't know how to use it. How do... Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. So it's R2. Interesting. Huh. What does that do? Ah! Oh! Okay. Interesting. Got the proximity mine back. What is this? Rolling eye. Back at ya. I don't know what that means, but okay. Um, Jackie Robinson uh, was the first player uh, to officially cross the, what's known as the color barrier in um, Major League Baseball. So Major League Baseball used to be entirely segregated. Um, um, there was, I don't, there we go. Oh, I'm full. Wait. 
Am I full? No, oh, there we go. Okay. Um, there were laws. Uh, not only laws against uh, sort of like, you know, fraternization of, of races in, in society, but also um, there were uh, just sort of unofficial policies placed oh man not another one of these oh yikes okay can i jump across this yes okay what's over here um where basically teams just wouldn't do it even if they could have um what is oh no okay I was not aware of that. Um, that's, I don't want the boss yet. Um, I guess I'll head back here. Um, teams wouldn't do it, right? Uh, many players, many managers did not want to play with um, black ball players. This also extended to um, many Latino and Caribbean ball players. Um, yes, let's go. Ooh, town. No, not town. Store. Um, what is that? Prime primer. I don't know what that means. Oiled cylinder. Full heart key. How do I... What? Oh, no. Um... know how to use why well, didn't mean to dro hello I didn't mean to drop it ammo capacity up what does it do can you tell me what it does see I'm a little unimpressed what does it do I I don't really know how to Yeah, I don't, I don't really know what those things do. Okay. Uh, I don't have enough for half a heart. What is this? Oh, I have a key. Do I not have a key? Apparently I don't have the right key. Huh. I was, I, I don't know. Um, boy, there is a pretty significant sort of just, like, figure-it-out element to this game, which I don't mind. Um, but it does kind of give me the feeling that I'm missing things, you know? Um, so anyway, uh, teams would not hire, um, black ball players. This often extended to, um, players that appeared to be black, um, Latin ball players, Mexican ball players. Some of them were able to sort of like sneak across basically. What is this? Proton backpack. Um, I don't think I've missed anything. I just don't have a giant special key. Huh. Oops. Well. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know what's up with that. And I don't know how to activate it. Pretty much tried all the but wait. Oh. Options. Controls. Uh yeah, that's what I want. 
Yeah. Controller button images. Edit controller biting. But dodge roll interact is X, so I've tried that. It didn't work. Movement, aiming. Ooh, use blank. Okay, that's a good one to use. Next previous item. Okay, we'll do that. Exciting! Oh, no. Drop gun, hold. Drop item. Pause inventory. Okay, well. I Yeah, I guess I don't have whatever that thing needs. Um, so, we'll go ahead and we'll try to take on this boss. Um, so, uh, Branch Ricky, who was uh, a pretty interesting innovator in baseball had in mind for a while um, that he wanted to rats. This was not a good strategy. This was a bad strategy. That was bad, 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 bad. He had in mind for a while that um, I'll return to the breach. Oh, uh, you know, I don't I don't really want anything different. I kind of like this marine guy, but I might as well try somebody new, you know, the convict. Um Woo. And there had been attempts, they kind of wanted to find the right person. They really liked um that Robinson was young. Um there were other players that were more established in the American Negro Leagues. Um, that were probably just as good, if not better, than Robinson. Um, but um, they they needed just kind of the right person. And it's sort of the unfortunate reality of the politics of integration at that time. What is this? Kindles blanks. I don't know what that means. Um, that rats, in order um, gee whiz, Peter I am doing poorly in order for integration to occur there was going to have to be a certain level of respectability politics played. And in general, that's the kind of thing that, like, you really don't want to force, um, like, black folks and, and other non-white folks to have to be a part of in order to, like, earn equality, right? Or be given equality. Um... But the, the, the sort of, uh, you know, we've returned to the concept of the Overton window, right? Um, ouch. Yo, that was cool. Sort of a Molotov cocktail kind of thing. Um, that there was a certain level of respectability that your average, ooh, cell key. Oh, I got to get to back to the cell, huh? Um that your average person who was like maybe not oh, maybe I can't unlock that until later um, that your average person that was against integration would sort of be like okay I guess right most people even most people who were like racist weren't so ardently racist that they would like not ah rats that they would not do um certain things like enjoy really good baseball right and and again like i said that's an is that the boss i don't want to go to the boss yet um that's the unfortunate reality of prejudice is that like people usually most people who are prejudiced will not be prejudiced like against their own interests if they are aware of it right 
Um, they will... This, this is why, like, people who were upset about the whole Colin Kaepernick thing, most people got over it and kept watching football, right? They're not going to go, I'm going to get rid of this thing that I really, really love and enjoy. Um, table tech site. Whoa, that's kind of cool. Molotov launcher? I don't have enough for that. Stinko. Um, hello, is there anything in it? Oh! Something for the collection, I will compensate you. I don't know what that means. I'm sorry, I don't understand. <laughs> um, so there were plenty of people who would be like, well, yeah, I like really good baseball and this guy's good at baseball. And that was actually really important for why Robinson had to be as good as he was. It was not merely a, boy, wasn't it nice that we got a good baseball player? It was, if he's not good, people won't accept him. Um, and I, again, that sucks. Um, like that is not, su talk on it. That is not something I think is good or should be the way the world works or should be the way the, that like human psychology works. But it was the way it was then. I don't have the keys. I gotta go buy a key. Um, so all, all that to say, they needed somebody who was good and they needed somebody who could handle the virulent racism. Um, of fans, some players and coaches. Um, and the, the movie 42, I think, is a decent dramatization. What is this? Music of the Spheres, Mr. Accretion Jr. That's much too large, but I do have the sawed off, which I kind of like. Let me check my map and make sure I've gotten everything. This place is locked, but I don't have a special key for it, I don't think. Um, who we got this time? Oh, it's the Boo Boo Brothers, the Bullet Brothers, the Trigger Twins. Uh. Ah! No! No! Oh. I guess I didn't have a Molotov cocktail to throw. I don't really like her. I don't like her gun. I don't I don't like her gun. I don't like her ability. I mean the Molotov cocktail is powerful, but the hunter. Let's be a hunter. Let's hunt. Come with me, hamster. I think it's a hamster. <laughs> I think it's a giant hamster. Hmm. Um one of the things that I, I think the movie really got right was, um, I, I don't know that this, oh, man, I don't know that this conversation actually happened between Robinson and Branch Rickey, but there's a scene where they're talking to each other and Branch Rickey's like, okay, are you the right person for me to like, to do this for? Because y if you want this to work, you can't react like you can't defend yourself you just have to take it because everybody who comes for you will say that you are you know unstable unfit to be in the league oh dear um that you like you know shouldn't be in baseball because remember baseball at this time is still to some extent the gentleman's game right Golf has golf is sort of a gentleman's game, but like baseball still has this kind of old timey contingent of folks who, especially the ones running things, were the ones running things in the early aughts um, when baseball kind of started to become the national pastime. So there's a lot of old boys who don't see a black ball player as sporty, um, and. That's why it's that much more important because baseball is not a sport where you brawl, right? Baseball is not a sport where you, 
um, fight or yell or get upset. It's not supposed to be, right? There's, of course, like, tons of um, exceptions to this rule. Like, one of my favorite stories, the time when um, Babe Ruth uh, was pitching uh, and he uh, he was credited with a combined no-hitter with a teammate of his that na whose name I, I can't recall. Um, but the story goes, Babe Ruth got annoyed with the umpire on the very first batter of the game and punched him and was ejected. And then the guy who came in for him uh, threw no hitter. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, right? There's, of course, exceptions to this, but there's still this idea that, like, baseball is the gentleman's game. Like, and we, we, play, like, we play like sporting gentlemen. Um, and that's why it was incredibly important for Jackie Robinson to be able to, like, take the um, punishment that came with, you know, being the first black man to, to break the, the color barrier. Um, and, and have it work and have it, you know, be a sort of experiment that works, right? Um, one thing that's really cool, but I, I think kind of gets lost sometimes is, uh, we, we forget this because we think of the, uh, uh, in our generation, we think of baseball as major league baseball, but even up until the late nineties, there were two different leagues, the American league and the national league. And what is this? Hello? Yo, that's cool. I would love to do some damage with that, huh? Um, the American League and the National League, they were basically two separate entities. And they kind of did their own thing, even though they were, you know, the... Ma oh, dear. It's called the Major Leagues because there's two leagues. Um, right? It's not, you know, ma you go up to the Majors. The American League and the National League. Um, they kind of... They didn't really combine, but, like, a lot of the sort of work of running the two of them was streamlined to be a more, like, singular entity in the late 90s. You used to have umpires that were only American League umpires and only National League umpires. Um, but, uh, so, at the time, it was a big deal that... Um, it was the National League that had the first black player, but the first black player in the American League was uh, for the Cleveland baseball franchise. His name was Larry Doby. He was a, a similarly um, excellent um, Ah, rats! Oh, man, I'm not doing well. Can I get it? Ah, I didn't dive in time. Yes, let's go. Get out of here, king man. Uh, Larry Doby was just, just also a really, really stellar baseball player. What is this? For external use only. Um, so yeah, it's... Uh, yeah, let's do a little bit more. Not this time, talking button. Here we go. So yeah, that's that's kind of a little bit about Jackie Robinson Day and um, the integration of, of the major leagues and... Um, that certainly was not the end of it. The last team to integrate was actually my um, beloved Boston Red Sox. Um, they did not integrate until, I think it was 1962. Um, they had a couple Latino ballplayers and were actually quite famous for having many Italian ballplayers. And you have to remember at the time, there's, there's still like a not insignificant amount of like anti-immigrant sentiment um, in America, um, especially with World War II and 
uh, different things. But like, it was not at all the same for a, a, a baseball player of Italian heritage as it was for a baseball player of, um, what is that? As it was for a, a ball player of um, black descent. There we go. Let's go. That rules. Um, yeah, the work's not done. Um, baseball still has some issues. Um, I would say one of the biggest issues with regards to race now is the way that um, baseball in... Oh, oh dear. Oh, he still got me. Stink. Um, the way that baseball in majority black areas is still um, not terribly well. Um, ugh, come on. Like, part of it is, like, baseball is kind of an expensive sport. Um, it's not the most expensive. It's not golf. Um, but... Football's expensive, but you can have 60 people play it at a time, and people really want to, you know, um, oh dear, ah, you know, people really want to, there's a lot of funding for it, and it's a big money maker for schools, um, But uh, in in low income areas where there tend to um, more dis be more disproportionately, um, yikes, yikes! Uh, okay, woo! What? Oh no! Oh, he was still shooting. Ah, oh, that stinks. Okay. I kind of like this character, though. Um, let's run this one back. Let's see if I can... Let's see if I can beat this real quick. Um, yeah, it's just... Uh, that's why there's all these efforts by the MLB to... Um, like, fund... Like inner city baseball programs, but right now there are not a lot of um, black American ball players. There are a lot of black Caribbean ball players. There are a lot of black Latino ball players. Um, ooh, that's nice. Um, JK47. <laughs> the JK47. It's fake. Um, gotcha. Oh, man. Took that damage like a dweebus. Um, thanks, bud. But, uh, you know, in, in the American inner city, you, you just don't have the same kind of commitment at the national level, at the level of infrastructure to getting, uh, young black men involved in baseball as you do, uh, in other countries and in America for other sports, right? Um... That's, you know, I, I, I'm trying to be careful about that because this is just a video game show and I'm, I'm not trying to, like, uh, everything is political, right? So I can't, like, not, I'm not trying to be political. Of course I am. Like, I can't not be. But also, I'm not trying to get into, like, a really nuanced debate um, that's, like, difficult to, where is it? There's a heart in here somewhere. There we go. Um, that's difficult to parse. Um just you know in my video game sh show where i'm shooting giant anthropomorphic shotgun shells <laughs> um it's a difficult issue and there are people who really want to do a lot of oh dear there are people who want to do a lot of things to solve it and uh there are things we can do and and are doing um there are ways that you know mlb can be better there are ways that people can be better um about making sports in general and baseball specifically more welcoming to all kinds of different folks. One thing I'm really into is, um, oh, I didn't, didn't dodge well enough. Got him. Um, if I can just keep him on the screen. Got him. Um, 
One thing I'm really into is uh, making baseball more accessible for uh, folks with disabilities. Um, uh, both uh, physical disabilities and um, like intellectual disabilities or social disabilities. No, social disability. Is that the right word? I see, see, like, there's a lot of work that goes into just even like knowing the right way to talk about it. And that's okay, right? But there are folks for whom like being in society is a burden to them. Oh man, that grenade man punched me in the head. Um, it's a tiny room here. Oh. Destroy this! Rats. Are they afraid of my gerbil? Oh, there. I, man. I'm, like, pretty happy with how decent I've been at this. I mean, I'm not, like, advancing a ton, but I'm, like, hitting most of the things I aim at, and, you know? Vote of confidence. I got a ballot. I don't know what that does. Um, uh, there's, uh, you know, baseball games where uh, uh, wheelchair users and... Um, ooh. And uh, children with limb differences and, you know, all sorts of things can, like, get to enjoy the fun of baseball. And that's why I love baseball, because it's fun. Um, it's got everything. You get to swing a stick. You get to catch a ball. You get to throw a ball. Um, you get to run around. You get to play keep away. Um, or not really keep away, but, like, monkey, monkey in the middle? No, like, tag basically, right? Like, what is running the bases if not just a giant game of tag, right? Like, Ali Ali Oxen Free. Um, it's fun that I think anybody can learn to have, and I don't know what this means. Did I miss a chest? Is there a chest I couldn't open because it had a lock, or was that a previous game? I think it was a previous game. Um, so yeah, so anyway, that's, I, I don't know, just something to think about on Jackie Robinson Day, like, I am, like, I'm committed to, like, trying to, ah! Oh, I tried to do a, a blank, but I don't think I had any. Anyway, I'm giving it to trying to, like, make that a thing that everybody gets to enjoy no matter what their body looks like, no matter how their body works, no matter how their mind works. Like, uh, that's just really important to me. Um, uh, one quick story before I finish up. Um, I, uh, <laughs> I umpired a big... Um, not a big, just like a small tournament this weekend, but it was like 12 year, like 10, 11, 12 year olds. And, um, they're just cool kids. I've seen a lot of these teams before. I've seen a lot of these kids and, um, the cultist. No, I guess I can only use the cultist in co-op. Um, oh no, only if I pick him, whatever. And I just, I really love it when you see just a really anxious kid who wants to, he's trying hard, he wants to do a good job. And and I was that kid. And I had some coaches that didn't really know how to deal with me. And it, it wasn't really their fault. Um, we just don't really equip men in our culture. And it's changing. But we don't really equip men to deal with anxious children, especially anxious young boys. Uh, it's like, well, you're, you're playing baseball. You're a boy. You're supposed to be doing a good job. You're supposed to love all this. I was so anxious, not only because I was afraid of the ball, but because I wanted to do a good job and I wanted to impress and I wanted to, I wanted to be liked and, and, you know, be told that I was doing okay. And I just wasn't very good. So every time I see a, a anxious little boy, um, my heart really goes out to him. And, and there was one in a game where two pretty good teams are playing. And this is a kid. He's on one of the teams that's winning and he's not one of their better players, but he's trying hard and he goes up to bat and he's just taking big, big daddy hacks at the ball and missing. And his coach, who is the guy who invited me to umpire for the event, a really wonderful guy. Um, 
is up there and he's not trying to coach he's not trying to like all right now you got to do the burr, burr, burr. he's not yelling at him he's just saying great job that's a great swing i like that gets me where i live because just the encouragement of i know it must have been so hard for you even to take the bat off your shoulders and swing that that is something worth me praising you for um and you could tell that kid was determined. And he struck out. But he struck out swinging at three pitches against a pitcher that was throwing gas. Like, the kid was overmatched, right? But he went up there and he did his best. And his coach recognized that. And that just made me really, really happy. Um, so, I just did a whole talk about baseball and Jackie Robinson and taking care of kids and all that. Um, so, I, you know, I promise I'll be more silly uh, next game if that's not your thing. But... Um, thanks for listening and watching the game and, uh, hanging out. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time on Pete Plays. Bye. You said, hi, welcome to Pete Plays. Hi, welcome to the authoritarian takeover of Pete Plays. <laughs> well, everyone does the face of attack. Endlessly spin the ship. Hey, remember when one shark attacked me? Up from the grave here, Thanks for the coins. Here's my poster. The name is Ramen Flowbottom. I hope they remember you, shark. Orlingson. No, I'm trying to not get hit by these things. Everything's normal. Shimbo. <laughs> okay. Consider this interview concluded.